Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens, I'm in Chiang Mai, Northern Thailand. And today for lunch, we're gonna go eat at a restaurant. Well, we are at a restaurant. It's called Krua Long Kao Kitchen. And it is a Northern Thai Lana restaurant. I've actually been here a few days ago and the food was fantastic. It's a great relaxing environment in the rice paddy fields. We're gonna have lunch here. We're gonna order some, especially some plant focused northern thai dishes this is not a vegetarian restaurant it's a northern thai restaurant but i thought this would be a perfect opportunity to order some of the dishes that are more focused around plants and natural ingredients so i'm very excited for lunch today and i'm going to show you all the food coming up right now for lunch So again, welcome to Krua Long Kao. One of the first things I tell love about this restaurant is the setting surrounded by rice paddy fields. We're in an area called Me Rim, which is just outside adjacent to Chiang Mai town. But if you were to drive from the center of Chiang Mai, I think it would probably be about 15, 20, 15 to 30 minutes or so. And then you go off the side of the main road, down a side road, and you get immediately into the countryside where it's quiet, where it's peaceful, where it's lush. And all of a sudden there's a restaurant in the middle of the neighborhood. And it's not a big restaurant. There's probably 10 tables downstairs, plus a little, is that a little cafe over there? I'm not even totally sure. And then they do have some tables on the, the top level as well, which I think we'll probably have to go upstairs because there's not enough room downstairs right now. But either way, great environment. Just feels like you're going to somebody's house to eat. Downstairs is pretty packed, so we've decided to come upstairs. Upstairs is really nice and relaxing, kind of like a loft, an attic up here. So chill up here. And it's really cool. Somehow it stays really cool up here as well with the, the rice paddy fields, the trees. Ah. The only thing about this restaurant is the service can be a little bit slow because I think they just, it's a family run restaurant. It's small and yet it gets packed. It gets busy, especially during meal times. But that's, that's okay. You gotta come here. You gotta fit the mood and you've gotta relax and hang out and just enjoy the peace and relaxation while you're here waiting for your food. Or they have the full Northern Thai meal spread, but we're gonna try to order some dishes that are more on the plant-based side. Oh man, they don't have bamboo shoots. Slightly disappointed. They're all out of bamboo shoots. And that was my favorite dish. We ate here a couple days ago. That was my favorite dish. This bamboo shoot curry with grilled green chilies. So if you come here, be sure to get that dish though. Oh, perfect. Nothing I want more right now than a fresh coconut, especially since they have some coconut trees right here, which are fully loaded. The food might take a little while. We might be in for a little wait because there's so many people here. Oh man, coconuts never get old. One of the great joys of life, natural electrolytes and minerals within coconut water is one of the greatest things ever. And they added in some butterfly pea flowers too, which you might as well nibble on those which are of course fully edible and delicious. And so fragrant and sweet too. But most of the dishes have arrived and man, it looks great. My mouth is watering. Let's immediately dig in. So sticky rice. And let's start with the dam kanun, which is the pounded jackfruit salad, young jackfruit salad. One of my favorite dishes in Northern Thailand. I love it. I can eat it every day. It's a baby, a young jackfruit that's boiled, that's then pounded up with galangal and garlic and chilies sprinkled with coriander. There's fried garlic on top. There's fried chilies on top. Perfect for scooping up with uh, sticky rice. Get everything, get that fried chili in your bite. Oh, I'm so excited. I need a huge bite for my first bite. Mm. Mm. Oh, I love jackfruit, pounded jackfruit. I love jackfruit in every form and shape and style. But the way they do it in Northern Thailand, 
you really vibrantly taste the galangal and the garlic. Oh, and those dry fried chilies are amazing. And when it's a young jackfruit, they use all of the, I mean, the pieces of the fruit and then also the seeds are all pounded up in there. It's so actually meaty. Oh, and the, I think there's some makrut lime leaves in there as well, giving it a citrusiness. And then next up, this one is the gang pak cheng da, which is a local vegetable here in Chiang Mai. It's very common in northern, throughout northern Thailand. This is cooked down with some of the, they call them mak som, which are very sour little tomatoes. And then I think there should be a, a curry paste in here with chilies, dry chilies, garlic, galangal, shallots. Mm. Oh wow, that's big on spice. The tartness of the tomatoes. The Qingda leaves are green, they're crisp, and yet at the same time they absorb all of that broth. You taste the garlic, the shallots, the maybe a little bit of lemongrass in there. I was just remembering the English name of Qingda leaves, but I just looked it up. It's called Gymnema inodorium in English. I guess that must be the scientific name but it is an indigenous, often a medicinal plant native to Thailand. Has a lot of nutrients, has a lot of healthy benefits, and that leafy greenness is gonna be full of nutrients, that's without a doubt. And I, like, I, like, I especially like in this curry how they don't overcook it. It's just barely wilted into the curry. Mm. Love it. Oh, and there's big chunks of galangal in there too. The next dish I got is another classic Northern Thai dish, boiled mushrooms. I believe these are a type of oyster mushrooms served with nampik ka, which is a galangal chili dip. So there's dried galangal, there's dried chilies, there's probably some garlic, which is then pounded up into a, a dry, crumbly, flaky chili dip. So what you do is grab yourself a mushroom and because the mushrooms are boiled and moist, that dry chili dip should stick. Otherwise you can top it up. Oh man, this looks crunchy and spicy. Mm. Oh yeah. The mushrooms are juicy. You taste the fragrance of that galangal, the dry chili. Oh yes, thank you, kapun kab. Kapun kab. And then the final dish, one of the ultimate of all Northern Thai foods. Well, a very standard, a very classic Northern Thai dish that you eat with almost every meal, nam prik num, which is a roasted green chili. The green chilies are actually called prik num, roasted down, blackened, peeled, pounded with garlic, and then served with vegetables. I think this is chayote. And then you just dip. Oh, nice. I love how they've left their nam prik num nice and stringy as well. Mm. Mm-hmm. Man, the smoky green chilies, the garlic, it's just a perfect harmony. You can eat it with rice, you can eat it with vegetables, you can eat it with everything and every bite. And next up, this one is the tamamuang, which is a pounded mango, green mango, Northern Thai salad. I'm not totally sure what's in here. There's some onions on top. And then it's served with bai chaplu, and these are wild beetle leaves. But let's try. Maybe you could even wrap. I guess we'll try our next bite wrapped in the, the leaf. Mm. Coconut in there. And maybe a little bit of a, a roasted chili jam. Or I'll do a little wrap, actually. Mm. And that bumps up the pepperiness. I love chapu leaves. Wild piper, wild beetle leaves. They're peppery and green, and then they have this really kind of tough texture. That, that's why they're great for wrapping things in. And I think the last dish I got is the called kua mi a stir-fried noodle dish. Just, I think looks very simple though. Stir-fried noodles, soy sauce, fried garlic on top, and coriander. Oh wow. Very light and fluffy, a little bit sweet. The best part is that fried garlic on top, which gives it a whole fragrance, but really light and fluffy. Okay, I think that's everything I tried. I'm moving back over to my basket of sticky rice, and I'm moving back over to one of my favorite dishes, 
the jackfruit, pounded jackfruit salad. Oh, chili, you gotta have a chili. They sh I, I should have asked them for a whole pile of chilies to eat with every single bite. Mm. The stringiness of the jackfruit combined with the sticky rice and the blast of heat and smokiness from the fried chilies is what makes it. Back over to the green chili dip. Their numpik noom here is awesome. And it's one of those things that sometimes, kind of depending on the time of the year, depending on the place you go, maybe just depending on the the bush of the chili, some of the numpik noom, sometimes it can be spicy, other times it's very mild. This one has a bit of a kick to it. Not extremely spicy, but it's definitely not mild. Mm. Oh wow, yeah, that's big on spice today. I'm gonna sit here, keep on eating. But this is just an example of how you can come to a typical Northern Thai food Vana restaurant and order some of the dishes that are already naturally plant focused. And that, I mean, so many, so many vegetables, so many herbs are used, but these are especially some of the dishes that I think really highlight the natural ingredients, healthy medicinal ingredients of Northern Thai food and mem. The flavors are outstanding. The ambience, the setting here is fantastic and relaxing. And this is just a nice, especially a family focused, countryside, delicious Northern Thai food restaurant. Yeah. I think my favorite part of this Chengda curry are the big chunks of galangal in there that you chomp down every now and then, just erupts with galangaliness in your mouth. Mm. Oh wow. And their numpik noom today is bumping with heat. Man. That's the way I like it. Oh, there's also a bunch of shallots, which are also roasted and then pounded up in there as well. On point today. Okay, and now that we've finished with our meal, the downstairs has kind of cleared out. It is quiet, it's in the middle of the afternoon. And man, that wraps up a delicious meal. Our total bill came to 940 baht. And that included uh, probably like three or four other dishes that Ying ordered that I didn't show on camera. Really good home style Northern Thai Lana food. And so I'll have the information in the description box below. And I wanna say a big thank you to you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up and also remember to subscribe to Big On Spice where we're gonna be eating and learning about food that's good for you and food that's big on spice. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Chiang Mai and I will see you on the next video.